now where's it going now today everybody this is jordan jones for the final video of recapping the strategies in the new super Mar mario bros wii tutorial we're gonna do the second half of world nine and so i recommend the propeller suit for nine five because it's very important to use it in nine five because it's possible to do it without it, but it's just very difficult without it. So I recommend you have it because it makes it a lot easier. So you want to propel up here, dodging these penguins. Very simple, so I have to. Very simple, so I have to. And then right here, you want to dodge this penguin right here. And then you want to avoid this one. And you want to slide down here. Very simple. Dark one, one's right there. Very simple. Just propel her up to get it. Just like that. Okay, when you get right here, you want to propel her up here to get Stark one number two. Very simple. Very simple, so you have to do all you have to do. It's a pretty quick level with the propeller, so you can easily go through it quickly and casually. Even a casual run can be pretty quickly with this level. So we want to go here, very simple. So we want to jump here, jump here. So here's what you have to do. So just like we did in the tutorial, you want to jump in the middle of this, and then you want to propel her over here, and then get your star points. So I have to do. That's it with nine, five. <clears throat> okay, that's all you have to do. Okay, that's all you have to do. So we're done with nine, five. Now we're moving on to 9-6. Most important thing about 9-6, you'll have those platforms you have to avoid and stuff. So most important thing about 9-6 is that you're going to have these platforms and stuff. So you're going to be aware of those platforms, but otherwise it's very simple. So, so we're going to have to switch from propeller suit to fire flower because I can easily do it without the propeller suit. Okay, so these platforms go down and they go back up. So just remember that. So... So we're gonna grab this fire flower because it's gonna help out against the fire chomps. So when they go down, you can flick your wheel up next to boats to avoid that. You can find the one up here. It's very simple to find. So you can do this. Very simple slave so do right here. This is probably my favorite level of World 9. Probably because of the mechanics of it. And your first arc one's down here. Very simple. Now you have to kind of uh, carefully go across these platforms right here. Not too difficult. Very simple. So right here, you want to jump when the platform's in the lava. And then that's when you want to time your next jump. That's all I have to do. So what you have to do now is the fire chomp's about to come. So when he comes, you want to just throw a fireball at him to kill him. Then when you get right here, just like we did in the tutorial, wait for those. And then wait for this one to go down. You want to wall jump right here. We got hit. That's okay. That's okay. Not a big deal. We're going to time these wall jumps, these triple jumps just right, right there. You have to watch those other platforms. Most important thing to tell you is they watch for the second, the second and the last, or the very last one. Then when one of those turns red, that's your signal to jump. We got hit. That's okay. That's okay. Because these can sometimes be hard to dodge. Sometimes sometimes they're hard to avoid, but not a big deal because we're still big Mario. Jump and then flick your way mode to get extra boats right here. Here's what you have to do. I can't talk with everything, but this is thing's going to go up. So it's going to go down, then you have to jump again. So just take your time with this. We barely did it. So, but that doesn't matter. As long as we do, it's what matters. <laughs> okay, here's what you have to do right here. So you wanna jump right here, jump here, and done. It's done. Now we're going to 9-7, the most difficult level of the game. So remember 9-7? Most important thing about 9-7, do the triple jump at the start, and then do the triple jump at that, part, at that one part. React, do not anticipate. When you're playing 9-7, you have to react, do not anticipate. Make sure you do the triple jump at the start of the level every time you play it. It's very important because it makes it easier. So you want to do the triple jump at the start like this. So right here, you want to grab your fire flower. Oh, you can get one up in there, but we're not going to bother with one up, so I'm not going to worry about them. First dark one's right there, that's all you have to do. And right here, you want to jump through here. You want to avoid these. And then right here, here's what you have to do. Remember to get this triple jump. Remember this triple jump right here. Time it just right. Right here, we can only shoot the fireball to the left. We don't want to shoot to the right right here. Because that's the only way we can get that star point. Because if you shoot to the right, you're going to have a bad time. 
And this level is really difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Yes, it, this level is the hardest one. But we'll be practice better yet. I promise this will take you many, many hours of practice, I promise. So remember what I did right here where you jump down the wall jump to get this dark one? Let's see if we can do this first try. Hopefully we can. We did it first try! There we go. That's the hardest level done. Now, the rest of the game should be pretty simple. We just have one more level left to recap. And I was actually surprised I did 9-7 this quickly. Because <laughs> 9-7, this is the toughest level. This is the toughest level of the game. <laughs> so now we're moving on to 9-8. The last level of the game. And this level is actually very simple if you know what you're doing. But it is a little bit difficult for first timers. Because it does require some timing. But you can anticipate as much as you want to in this level. It has nowhere near as much reaction time as 9-7. Excuse me, so we just have to dodge these right here. So we just have to do this, and then... First arc one, very simple, just propeller up to get it like this. Then all we have to do is this. So when we get right here, here's what you have to do. Want to jump and propeller right here. And then you want to jump right here and propeller. Dodge these fuzzies, very important. But if you do get hit, not a big deal. If you ever get hit in this level, not a big deal. Not a big deal. It's okay if you do get hit, it's not a big deal. That's okay if you get hit a little bit, it's okay. So you want to hit the P switch right there to make this part a little bit easier, but you don't have to. It's just better if you do because it makes it a lot easier. So here's what you have to do right here. You want to get your second star coin by propellering right there. Very simple, so I have to do. But it can be a little tricky at first, but it's pretty simple when you get used to it. Okay, you want to propeller up here, and here's what you have to do right here. Just like we did in the tutorial, here's what you have to do. You want to stay on this platform and wait for this bonsai bill to come. This king bill to come. And then when he comes by, here's what you have to do. Kill those Goombas, and then you're going to have one coming down, and then one coming going up. So we just have to dodge these. That's all we have to do. They're very simple to dodge. And it's actually one of the easiest levels in the game. Once you know what you're doing, it is. It can be one of the hardest levels if you don't know what you're doing. But it's one of my favorites. It's very fun. So we just have to bounce underneath this, these blocks right here. Wait for this bonsai bill or king bill, whatever you want to call it, to go by. They're actually called king bills. So wait for them to go by. We just have to dodge these, so we have to stand up here, wait for it, there's gonna be, wait for the one that's gonna, wait for these two to go by, there's gonna be one going right and one going up. So just remember that, and then that's it. We're beating the game. This tutorial is over. That's all we have to do. That's all I have to do in this, that's all I have to do in these World 9 levels. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about World 9, please feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section, and I'll be glad to answer your questions that you might have. And let me know in the comments how much you've enjoyed this tutorial. And we're beating the game. We got all the Stark ones in every world. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below how much you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions about any level, please feel free to leave your questions about the levels in the comment section. And I'll be glad to answer them for you. And hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. And okay, everybody, that was it. Hope it was helpful. Have, have a good one, and thank you very much for watching.